Hi guys, it's Lisa at Letting My Heart Take the Lead. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we would love to have you in the group. Hit that subscribe button and I would greatly appreciate it. To all you others that's already subscribers and watch my videos, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. And I love spending time with you guys. Well, this has been an eventful 48 hours off of work. I got to go back tonight for three twelves in a row. So, I have been so busy trying to get things done that I wanted to get done while I was off because I knew I was going to have these three midnights and uh so yeah just been i have been so busy um i have been staying up late <laughs> um i've canned spaghetti sauce i've canned caramelized onions we love them on um hamburgers and steaks and stuff like that and it's so easy because you can just Fix your steak or, you know, fix your hamburger and pop open a little jar of those and put them on and put them on whatever on the last few minutes, you know, and get them warm and they're so good. So my house does smell like onions because I did start those last night. I sliced them all up and put them in the crock pot and put a stick of butter over them and let them cook all night. And then this morning they were ready to... <clears throat> process and can so that's what I've been doing this morning and I've made pineapple jam and oh boy I don't know what all so it's been busy and uh I made the mistake of <laughs> well I didn't make the mistake I was down at the garden yesterday I gotta tell on myself it's down at the garden yesterday and I, I had on a pair of sandals and I just need to throw them away, but they're my favorite sandals and the sole is starting to kind of come loose <laughs> on them and they needed to go in the trash a long time ago, but <laughs> you know, it's kind of like an old pair of jeans. You get a pair of sandals that, oh, you know, you get them broken good and they're so comfy I just need to throw them away and get me a new pair because I was down at the garden yesterday and I don't know whether I, what I did when I stepped, if I, that sole that's coming loose, if, it, <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, yeah, <clears throat> I face planted in the garden, but you know, it was epic because it was such a long, a long, it was like, it would have been great to see in slow motion and it was kind of like, you know. Like it was playing out in slow motion anyhow. You know, you know you're losing your balance. You stumble and you know you're losing your balance and you're trying to regain it. And yeah, it was just like, uh... <laughs> I, it, and here's the funny thing. My first sandal, I lost right where I started to stumble and fall. My second sandal... <laughs> No kidding, guys. It was like 12 to 15 feet away <laughs> from my first sandal. Yeah. And then what made it even better is that when I fell, when I did completely hit the ground, boom, I hit on this side and I like skidded three feet <laughs> on this side. I thought for sure I was going to have just a road rash, a weed rash or something face, but I didn't, but my leg didn't fare so well. I, I have got quite a bit of uh, garden rash <laughs> on it. So yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm, I'm feeling parts of me this morning that um, I forgot I had, but other than that, I'm doing okay. So yeah, I had to 
tell on myself there <clears throat> a little bit. So anyway, it's been busy, 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 and I've got to go back to work tonight. I have been really busy this morning. It's about, I think it's about noon or so now. Um, I just warmed me up some leftover spaghetti from last night and had it for lunch. And I thought I would uh, jump on here and show you a few more uh, flea market treasures. And um, then I'm going to try to lay down and take a nap. We, we have our guy here mowing our pasture today. So it's kind of, you know, I've got some of the windows open because it's such a beautiful fall day. Ah, oh, I love it. Um, so, but it's kind of noisy with him out mowing. So I don't know. We'll see. I was just, you know, <laughs> I was just thankful that he wasn't here yesterday to witness my lunge <laughs> to fame. <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, uh, it was quite something. So, you know, I need to be more careful. I'm you know, I don't, I don't even know what today is, but I think in about 10 days or so, I don't know. I don't know what today is, but the, uh, I'm, I'm going to be turning 51. I need to be a little bit more careful because, you know, I could break a hip or something. <sighs> so yeah, I've got a birthday coming up here. In the next week, week and a half, something like that. Like I said, if I knew what today was, I could tell you, but I don't even know what today is. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you some things. Um, I've got some things that I'm going to keep, some things that I'm going to sell. I'll be listing on eBay. Um, but, yeah, I don't know whether I had... I don't know whether I've shown these before. I so I put them in the the uh, stuff to show today. Um, I got these over the summer at a um, yeah a yard sale, and they were so cute. And I'm going to be listing these on um, eBay and. Um, for those of you new here, I love to thrift. I am a thrifter. I'm a junker. <clears throat> you know, all of that. I love to go out and dig. I love my vintage things. The older, the better. And, um, but anyway, on top of that, furnishing my home and my needs with thrifted items... I am a part-time reseller on eBay. So if you want to check out my eBay, our seller name is Dink and underscore 48. D-I-N-K and underscore 48. And it's all lowercase letters. The name of my store is Letting My Heart Take the Lead. However, people have told me that when they search Letting My Heart Take the Lead, they can't find the store. That they have to search the seller name dink and underscore 48 so hop on over there check out what got up for sale i have got to get things listed because i have had a wonderful week on ebay so i need to get replenished but anyway <clears throat> i got these at a garage sale and i thought they were so cute you know they're little wine charms for your wine glasses you know so you can tell them apart who's the suit this is a little basket, and it's um, filled full of, like, tomatoes and things. Little watering can. These are, like, garden-themed. A gardening hat. Some little boots. A little birdhouse. And a little flower pot. These are adorable. So, and always, like always, if you see something that you would like, um, comment down below. I will get with you and work out details. 
just let me know. So anyhow, I didn't know whether I'd showed you guys those or not. That was uh, from a yard sale this summer. Um, so I wanted to show you the show you those. And then I have this really cute, it's called Baby Nessie. It's a tea infuser. This is adorable. It's brand new in the box. This is what it looks like. I'll take it out here in just a second. I won't take it out of the plastic. But it is a tea infuser. This is like a silicone or something. I don't know. It's like, it's squishy down here. But look, this is what it looks like. Here's his little long neck. He does have eyeballs. But you, you pop this open down here. You fill it full of your tea. And then you hang it on the side of your mug and, and let that infuse. But it's the baby Loch Ness. I thought it was so cute. So cute. He does exist. So, yeah. So, like I said, new in the box. Baby... Nessie, the Loch Ness Tea Infuser. Who couldn't go without that? And then I got this old uh, red-handled vegetable peeler. These are collectible, especially with how um, popular the farmhouse decor is right now. People use these for, um, for that. And, you know, there's still people that use the old stuff and this would be excellent for like <clears throat> I needed this last night actually see that point on there last night when I was making my pineapple jam that would have been excellent to get the eyes out of the pineapple that would have been good and then um, I got these cute Christmas taper candles I am such a sucker for candles of any kind. Yeah, so I'm going to be keeping these because I love them. So I'm going to keep those. I got got some cookbooks. Some <clears throat> not real sure which you know what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell. Um, haven't decided yet. But if you're interested in one, just let me know if there's a certain one. There's, um, here's one back in the back of this one that's Better Homes and Garden Cooking with Herbs and Spices. It's just like a little pamphlet thing. It says, Flavor Magic for Your Food. But this is a Campbell's cookbook, Cooking with Soup. Um, let me see if I can find a date. 1968 is this little vintage cookbook. And then I got this one, The Pleasures of Italian Cooking. The jacket's in a little rough shape, but um, I imagine it has some yummy, yummy recipes in it. And this was copyrighted 1962. <clears throat> so it's vintage also. This is the one I think I'm going to keep, unless somebody's really interested in it. Um, the New Pennsylvania Dutch Cookbook. This is copyrighted. And this, I was flipping through it. This has got some really neat things. Aunt Sue's dandelion wine. Um, it's even got soap recipes in here. Um, chicken pot pie, stewed chicken. It's got some German dishes, a lot of German dishes in it. Um, nut breads, shoe fly pie, soft gingerbread, donuts, um, cinnamon rolls, sticky buns. A lot of it is the names of it is in German, but then it has like in parentheses what it like is like um, this apple cake here. 
see the, the title, the name of it is in German and then it says apple cake. And it does, I mean, the recipe is in English. Um, but there's bread recipes, there's soup recipes, there's oh, all, pies, cakes, you name it. It's in here, candy. I just really like this one. And then <clears throat> I got this, um, th this is just a little pamphlet cookbook, but um, it's Christmas cookies. And I love baking at Christmas. I love Christmas cookies. So this has got all kinds of good ones in it too. I don't see a date, but it kind of looks like not 80s or 90s, maybe. I don't know, but anyway. I got those. I thought they were neat. And then, um, you guys remember, I remember my grandma had some old chalkware fruit hanging in her kitchen. I found a piece. This is in extremely nice condition. It hangs. It's the old chalkware. It does have a little bit of a nick, you know, or paint, not n really nick, but paint wear here and here. But this is in such wonderful condition. It's great. So I, I found that and I really liked that. But I will be listing that. That will be up for sale. And then I found this little guy. He just kind of cracks me up. I guess he's a little creamer maybe. Look at him. Ha! Ah, look at these. It's a little rooster. I would say he's a little like personalized creamer or a little creamer. He's pretty good size though. So, but I love his glaze on him. But yeah, he's not marked on the bottom. <clears throat> so I got him. And then, staying in the chicken theme here. Okay, so. This was made in Japan. It's wooden. Okay. But this had a purpose. Because look. See these holes back here? Something stuck in those. I, I don't know what. So I'm going to have to do some research on that. But I just, even without whatever it is, it's so cute. It'd be such a cute addition to somebody's collection, farmhouse decor. It would, it would. And then with Christmas coming along, I got this cute little Santa, made in Japan. He's marked on the bottom. He's so adorable. He's in really good shape. His paint's really good. He's got him some gifts. Yeah, he's just so happy. I love a happy Santa. Oh, let's just stay on the Santa theme, shall we? Look at this one. This one's an Irish Santa. He's an ornament. He's got his staff there. Look, right there, oops, sorry. Between the, there's his pot of gold and his bag. He's an Irish Santa, and he's so cute. So, oh, that's this Danbury Mint. Um, I was trying to see if there's a date on here. Danbury Mint, the Santa around the world, Christmas ornaments, this one's Ireland. I don't see a date, but I will be listing him. And then... I think I have told you guys before, I have some jadeite that I love. I've just got like one or two like dinner plates. And then I've got the nesting bowls. But I love to put them out around Christmas time and put my Santa mugs and all that kind of stuff in it. But I come across this. It's like a little luncheon plate or a salad plate. It's square. 
So I was happy to find it and get to add it to my collection. And then something else I picked up for myself, because when I pick things up for myself, yeah, I pick up stuff for decorating, for decor. But a lot of stuff that I pick up for myself is just stuff that is useful. I mean, I, I love to find the old stuff that is vintage that I know was in a kitchen or belonged to a, a homemaker or a farm wife somewhere. I just love to find that stuff and, and get more use out of it, you know, because they were so thrifty and so, um, what do I want to say? ingenious in ways of saving money and stretching the dollar and reusing things and recycling things and um I just love that I, I just I just love it you probably can hear Derby snoring I don't know whether he can or not but he's boy he's really snoring up a storm but I got this um clothespin bag things on your clothes line and it's full of old clothes pins so yeah I was happy to find it this is a different clothes pin look at that that's old and vintage that is really neat I like that um but anyhow yeah so I got that for myself and it's just the little things that just absolutely thrill me. I just love it. Now, next, these placemats are simply adorable. I don't know. You guys, if there's somebody out there that loves these as much as what I do and wants them, shipping would be really, really cheap on them because I could put them in a padded mailer. Look at these vintage placemats. Would you look? Or I, I, I'm i saying placemats. I mean, I guess you could use them as, as napkins too. I mean, they're cloth. But aren't those adorable? Wouldn't those be, ah, oh, they're so retro. They would be absolutely adorable this fall. In somebody's home I abs these are uh, this has got to be one of my favorite finds from this batch of stuff is those so yeah let me know if not they'll probably stay with me so just comment below and then I got this um, macrame plant hanger It's pretty big. Pretty big. See? Here's the handle. Here's the tail. So yes, very big, but I love macrame. And so that's a that's that. And then here's another one. This is really cool. And this is like never been used. Look, here's the handle, it's got green beads, and then the tail has green beads. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? This is another, man, this screams 60s and 70s, doesn't it? This gold color. So Vintage retro. I was trying to get some of these untangled, but aren't those? It's just adorable. So, yeah, I'm going to be listing those up to on eBay. Uh, oh, this is another one of my favorite um, finds is I and I'm gonna hang on to this through the winter season I don't know and maybe I'll sell it after that I don't know but I have an idea 
on my buffet for Christmas to do a hot chocolate coffee bar and um, I've got some signs you know that says hot chocolate and stuff um, and then of course all my Santa mugs but I found this old uh, thermos needs cleaned up but I'm like how cute would that be in my hot chocolate display so like I said I'm gonna try it if I don't like it in there uh, then I'll probably sell it later, but for right now, I'm going to hang on to it. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's a few more flea market treasures for you. And, um, like I said, always, if you see something that you're interested in, comment below. I'll get with you, and we'll work something out. Check out my eBay store, all lowercase letters, dink and underscore 48. Um, and I would, if you're new, I'd love to have you on the channel. So hit your sub sub subscribe button on the way out. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I don't know whether I will see you in another video before the weekend or not. It depends on how my 12 hour shifts go. So Anyhow, without further ado, I am going to sign off. I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful evening. I love you guys. Um, leave me a comment below on what you are up to in your neck of the woods. So, um, hey, as always, guys, in a world that we can be anything that we want to be, please be kind, be wonderful, and like always. Be awesome. See you guys. Love ya.